It is Monday, June 24th. It is 1.30 p.m. And the temperature is around 28 degrees Celsius. And I'm here at the corner of Bathurst Street and Drury Avenue. And I just uh, got off the 7 Bathurst bus and I rode it all the way here from Bathurst Station on Line 2. And it's another gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day on a Monday uh, afternoon. And it's the official last week of uh, June. And, and starting next Monday, just in about a week from today, it will be the first day of July, which means it will be uh, Canada's Day. And, um, and I'm really excited about the upcoming Canada's Day long weekend. So I'm here in the borough of North York and the neighborhood I am in is Newtonbroke West. And there's an another street that begins west of Bathurst and that is uh, Antibus Drive if I'm uh, if I'm pronouncing that word correctly. So basically so basically um, we have two streets. There's Drury Avenue that begins east of Bathurst and Antibus Drive beginning west of Bathurst. So yeah, it's another sunny day. It's and it's a bit a bit cool, but um, I remember last Monday um, we had some very hot temperatures, uh, heat wave warnings, and uh, we've been ha we've been having that for at least four days. So. So, so I'm so I'm guessing that this week is a bit better than last week because last week we had some very hot temperatures, but now um, it's starting. But right now it's starting to uh, uh, cool off, and I do have my water bottle with me, so I'll I'll drink my water once after I'm once after I finish recording this video. So the plan is is that we'll be heading uh, east along Drury Avenue in in the neighborhood of Newton Brook West, and we'll be heading east from here. At Bathurst, uh, and we're going to be ending our track at um, Young Street, which is not too far from uh, Finn Station. So I'm thinking I'm going to end my video somewhere near Finn Station, at the corner of Young and Bishop Avenue. Well, I was going to end my video at right at the intersection of Young and Drury slash Cummer, but then since but then since the intersection of Young and Drury is not too far from Finn Station, I might, I might as well just end my video right near Finn Station because why not since 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 Young and Drury is not too far from Finn Station, it's just it's just a it's just a few blocks um, a few blocks uh, north of Finn Station. And that we're looking north up along Bathurst towards Steeles Avenue West. Alright, let's head east on Drury. I'm walking on the north side corner. And there is the medical center on the left. So yeah, we're almost towards the end of June, and this and this coming Sunday will be the official last day of June, Sunday, June thirtieth, and that and that's the day that um, the Pride Parade will be will be taking place in downtown Toronto. And I do plan on to uh, live stream the parade. So we just left uh, Bathurst Street, and Drury Avenue is a very nice street. They have these cool uh, houses, homes, they're not really, uh, they're not really uh, townhouses because, um, because these houses, these houses uh, that you see, it, it, they're not really attached. They're just, they're, they're just uh, separate uh, homes. And there's a route that runs along this stretch of Drury Avenue, and that is the 125 Drury bus that operates 
from Finn Station, which I'm heading to, to um, Torresdale Avenue, which, which is a bit west of Bathurst Street. So here we got some few clouds. And we got lots of uh, sunshine. And yeah, and, and to be honest here, I don't think I've ever recorded a walking video along Drury Avenue. So it's also my first time recording this on my channel. A very nice, peaceful street in North York. So yeah, earlier, um, right, right before I began this video, I, I recorded the 7 Bathurst bus that was on a Nova RTK bus. And I was heading north from Bathurst Station to, to Bathurst and Drury Avenue. And unfortunately, um, uh, on the bus, uh, on the Seven Bathurst bus, we had, we had one dingus, and he was, and, and that guy was sitting, sitting beside me, and he didn't, and he didn't e even see my, he, like he didn't even saw my camera, like, like like he didn't even say say anything about me. But then, um, as we were approaching uh, Bathurst and uh, Saint Clair West, um, that guy who was trying to get off the bus, I mean, I mean the guy on the bus that I'm, that I'm talking about. Um, Um, he was saying that, um, that like he like he was like he was very loud, aggressive. So um, he he was he was yelling like 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 he was yelling and he was saying, "Oh oh oh, open the freaking door, open the freaking back doors." But then but then the but then the driver was like, um, was like, "Sir, we're not we're not we're not at the bus stop yet. We have to we have to we have to wait on you have to wait until." Um, the bus has arrived at the bus stop, and then you can open, and then you, and then you can uh, open uh, the back doors. But then, but then, but then that guy on the bus, I was <laughs> that that guy on the bus I was just on, <laughs> huh. like he was really, really, really uh, aggressive. And, and I and I caught that on camera, and and you guys will definitely see that on on my channel once that bus ride video is up. So yeah, there's my. <laughs> There's my rant here. Oh, and I see a police officer giving that driver a ticket. I can see it from just off in the distance here. There's like so many Toronto drivers who, who, who decides to speed and try to avoid following the speed limits. And that was a westbound 125 Dree bus. That's the Orion 3D diesel. Yeah, so, so so there's the police officer that's giving that driver that driver a ticket because he was probably speeding or texting while driving. You know, I've seen that many times. It, I mean, I mean, it's not the first time that I'm seeing this. This has happened. <laughs> A quite a number of times while I was driving to work and coming home from work during uh, midnight early morning well I'll, I'll definitely try my best not to point the camera at the police officer too much I mean we'll just walk by oh so I think the officer just left So it was that Lexus, that black Lexus that, that just got a ticket from the from that police officer just behind that behind that uh that Lexus. Yeah, and along this stretch of Drury Avenue you don't see that many humans because it's a very I would say a very peaceful uh, street. I mean I mean somehow though, it is just like uh
Yep, so there goes a police car. Here they got a few tables. That's on the sidewalk. Or a few shelves. So just on the right, on, just on the left, is the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Manual Seventh Day Adventist Church. It's a very small church. guys I, I didn't mean to to shake the camera too much I'm just trying to because I'm holding my 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 phone on a gimbal as well as my power bank because 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 my wire cord is too short and if I if I if I, if I, if I put my power bank inside my pocket then um, all of a sudden my my gimbal will <laughs> will act up so that's why I have to that's why I'm holding my power bank and my phone on the gimbal at the same time. All right, this is uh, Champs Ford Avenue, beginning north of Drury. It's a very nice, peaceful street, full of houses, homes. Now that's a very nice house. Really love the, really love the design of it. And I do apologize if if the footage is, is a bit shaky. <laughs> I try my best to hold the gimbal nice and tight and steady. Yep, so it's another hot day in the city. And I can't wait for summer. Actually, today is the fourth day of summer. The first day of summer began just this past uh, Friday last week. Last Friday, June 21st. Oh, just love when the birds sing. So once again, this whole stretch here is the neighborhood of Newton Brook West. And looking back west along Drury towards Bathurst Street where I where I uh, started this video and I bet we'll see the 125 Drury heading back east towards uh, towards my side where I'm, where I'm walking because we just saw we, we, we just saw one bus heading west so now it will it, it will terminate it will be laying over at Torresdale Avenue and then it will head back east to Finn Station oh am I hearing am I hearing sirens oh I, I think it's at Bathurst Street <laughs> Oh yeah, and tonight is game seven for the Oilers. Go Oilers, go! Hope they hope they win the Stanley Cup. All right, so now I see Grant Brook Street coming up, and that begins south of Drury. It runs so Grant Brook Street runs between Drury and Finch West. And there's also another route that runs, and that is the 98 Wilda Selleck. Oh, and there's a guy on the east scooter, but he's not, he's not even wearing his helmet. That is dangerous, buddy. Because what if you fall down and, and crack your head and, and you might end up in the hospital? Oh, look, speaking of the 98, here's one coming towards my side. Maybe, maybe we'll capture it. Oh, yeah, and. Um, <laughs> Also, also speaking of Grantsbrook Street, I, I did a walking video along Grantsbrook back on May 29th. That was that was on my early birthday before my before my actual birthday. 
So we'll, so we'll watch the 98 uh, bus uh, depart while we're still here. Number eight three eight four. That's a that's a unit that's unit unit number for uh, this bus. So so watch we'll the lead. It's gonna head north to Peckham. Yeah, I believe Peckham. If I'm if I'm pronouncing that word correctly, and then it will um it will head back. It will head back towards. To um, Willowdale and Seals via Shepherd Young Station on lines one and four. Oh, for now it's peaceful. Isn't that nice? And yesterday on June 23rd, I did I did a live stream capturing the 510 Spadina buses replacing uh, the 510 uh, streetcars. So more specifically, yesterday was the first day that the well, the, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yesterday was the first day that um, the 510 spread buses are now, are, now, are now replacing the 510 streetcars. So, so, so that's gonna last for at least at least a couple of months until the end of the year. I mean, who knows? Um, the 510 streetcars might come back into service maybe in late October of this year, but who knows? I mean, I'm, I mean, we're, we're still not sure yet. I mean, that's just, I mean, I mean, that's just my guess. Either um, till late October or um, until the end of the year. And that means starting on January 1st of 2025 is when I believe the 510 streetcars will come back along Spadina, operating between Spadina Station and Union Station or Queens Key West and Spadina. Well, yeah, I'm again. I mean, I, I know I know I've said it before, but I'm really excited about the about the Canada's Day long weekend because next Monday, July first, will be a holiday. It will be it will be Canada's Day where you will see lots of uh, fireworks. I bet the Canada's Day fireworks will be taking place in in, in lots of in lots of different places like Niagara Falls. Canada's Wonderland. I, I, I have a feeling that uh, next uh, Monday, July first, um, Canada's Day will be. I mean, uh, Canada's Wonderland will be uh, will be very, very, very packed, as well as uh, Niagara Falls. So I'm not sure where I'll be capturing the fireworks. Maybe, I guess maybe at Woodbine Beach or the Humber Bay Shores. I mean, who knows? And I also plan to uh, live stream the fireworks on Canada's Day, starting next Monday, the, the first day of July.
and here we got lots of uh, greenery, lots of green trees, as well as as well as these colorful green leaves. Really love those green trees along this stretch. Look, just on the right is RJ Lang. RJ Lang Elementary and Middle School. Oh, I think I hear the 125 Dream Bus. Oh yes, that's the, that's the same bus I captured earlier in this video. It was heading west. But now it's heading back east towards Finn Station, where I'll be, where I'll be going to. That's the exact same bus I've captured, the 125 Drury. Yep, that's the same one. The same bus I've captured. So now I see Hilda Avenue coming up. So now the sun is peeking behind those clouds here. Or there. Oh, this tree branch fell off. I guess it was because of the wind uh, yesterday. I mean, that's why these uh, tree branches uh, fell off on the ground. Look at that. Someone needs to fix it. And yeah, yesterday uh, evening, we had some really strong breeze winds flowing, uh, like, 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 Flowing around <laughs> up, up to up, up to uh, 70, 70 uh, kilos per hour. Holy cow! That was a very strong, very strong breeze. I mean, I mean, it was not even a cold wind, just a cool breeze to cool down the heat. The the heat waves that we had uh, last week, last Monday, June seventeenth over 36 degrees that's extremely extremely hot i will need to drink at least 28 cups of cold water now that's something and also finally uh yesterday being june 23rd the 512 st clair streetcars are now back along St. Clair West, operating between Kiel at Guns Loop and St. Clair Station via St. Clair West Station. I recorded a video of the 512 St. Clair streetcar uh, yesterday, heading east from Bathurst and St. Clair to St. Clair Station, which will be up on the channel, I'm not sure when, maybe um, next week or the week after. <laughs> All right, there's Hilda and Drury. And you see, and you, and you see those folks um, making, uh, just fixing this new light here. Or maybe new, new uh, electric wires, whatever you call it. Looking uh, north up along Hilda Avenue towards Steels West, 
where you will see the Mickadies. Check this out. So since this week is the last week of June, almost all high school students are writing their final exams before the end of the school year. And I bet all the kids are really, really, really excited. Especially for the uh, upcoming, <coughs> excuse me, especially for the upcoming Canada's Day long weekend, and especially myself, I am, I am definitely very excited for for Canada's Day as well. almost at Young Street and now it's been 27 minutes. I, I, I must have walked I must have uh, walked too fast. I was uh, speed walking. So far in this video we've captured at least three TTC buses along the way as well as a few school buses Look, there is a Drury Secondary School on the left. Looking back west once again. Yeah, and so far I have not encountered encountered any dinguses along the stretch, which is which is pretty nice. And that's how it and, and that's how it should be. But look at the sky, it's so beautiful. Just love a very nice day like a very nice day like this. And there's also a few uh, street festivals that I want to, that I want to check out. There's the Taste of the Lawrence East Festival that will be happening uh, next Friday, July 5th, and that and that event runs from from July 5th to uh, July 7th. It will be in Scarborough, in, in 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 the neighborhood of Wexford, that runs along Lawrence East between Warden and Bridgemount. And I do plan to check out Taste of Lawrence East, Taste of Taste of the Lawrence Festival, and I'll definitely make a video of it. I remember last year I, I did a video of Taste of the, the Lawrence East Festival last year on Friday, July seventh. But this year it will be on Friday, July fifth. So I'll go on a Friday evening. I'll definitely uh, take the day off at work. Mm -hmm. 
and we're almost at Young Street. Oh, the, oh, that yellow thing looks like a Spongebob to me. <laughs> or I'm not sure if that was exactly a Spongebob. <laughs> Anyways, never mind that. So we finally made it to Young Street. And that took almost a half an hour. Actually, actually it did take at least half an hour because now we're at the 31 minute mark we're almost at the the 32 minute mark so like what i said at the beginning of my video i was going to end my video at this intersection of young and drury slash Comer, but since we're not too far from finn station i might as well end my video at a subway station because why not so that i can Hop inside Finn Station and cool off after all that walking I, I've, I've done today. <laughs> Taxim Dunner. There's coffee time, it's anytime. Right, let's let's uh, cross here. Just gonna watch out for any any left turning vehicles. Hopefully they see me. Right, let's stand here. Okay, I was just here uh, this past Saturday doing a live stream with uh, Henry from Toronto Second Transit. We were heading to a, a Persian restaurant called Shepherd's Nut. We did our we did our food club on my stream. Alright, so that was the entirety of Drury Avenue from Bathurst to Young, where Drury Avenue becomes uh Cumber Avenue beginning uh, east of Young. So we're, so, so we're still in the neighborhood of Newton uh, Broke. So once you take Cumber Avenue, it will lead you east to um, Leslie Street where Cumber Avenue becomes Medical Avenue and that runs east in the borough of Scarborough. There goes a 53B bus, or actually it stopped because, because it's a uh, red light. <laughs> so yeah, and, and, and once you head north, once, once you continue north on Young, it will, it will lead you to Young and Seals. And of course, our good friend Henry knows a lot about Young and Seals, where they have lots of Persian restaurants, uh, supermarkets, uh, stores, all that sort of thing, money, currency exchange. heading south on the east side of Young and here used to be a very large plaza here used to be a food basics as well as well as a bolorama I remember I remember when I was a kid I, I remember I remember when I was 10 years old I used to go to that bolorama lots and lots of times and, and I have to say I am really good at bowling the last time I the last time though I went to bowling was back on April 27th about about 
hit exactly two months ago with uh, Henry, Merlin, and Boom. And I was and and I, and I was good at uh, bowling because 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 I because I've done before since I was since I was a child. Free Palestine, and there's a and there's a 38 a tall building uh, uh, stories. Th they're gonna be making a, a, a building this 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 new uh, high high tall building a. Uh, Developments. So this thing here is called. I'm trying to read the name for it. Uh, it's called. Uh, Anyone building a healthy lifestyle. And now I'm hearing <laughs> more sirens. What is going? What is going on around North York, eh? What the hell is going on? Oh, is that a? Is that a police car or is that or, or, or is that an ambulance? Oh it's oh it's an ambulance, okay. I thought it was something but maybe if I zoom in. Yeah I, I see I see an ambulance. Now it's heading really fast, look at that. Oh, I missed it. So we're heading south. There's Subaru, Willowdale. So this top building is still under a uh, construction. There's like lots of bloody hell constructions around the city. I mean, it's just a uh, non-stop. There's a there's a Viva bus. I don't think I've ever been on the on the Vivo bus before, or actually I have only once, but I, but I didn't record a video of it. And there's a new market, there's a new supermarket that, that's coming up called H Mart. Since 1982. But I really like how wide this sidewalk is because if, if you look on the right on the west side of Young, the sidewalk looks a bit too narrow but here is very wide open space. Taste the Asian fl flavors at H Mart since 1982. And here it says coming soon. Yes indeed this new supermarket is coming soon. The Asian mar the Asian supermarket. Here it says, experience the new standard in Asian supermarket. And here's an another Viva Arts Kit bus. Looks really packed. I mean, somehow it is.
Oh look, I see the North American Center where Mr. Johnny Strides used to work at as well as first claim place at the corner of King and Bay in the financial district in downtown Toronto. Uh -huh. So yeah, and along this, along this stretch of Young, you don't see that many traffic because it is still not um, the afternoon rush hour yet. Look, I see Finch Station. Oh well, yeah, and starting in, in about a few years, I think around the year of 2027, um, the, the young uh, subway line ex extension will be extended uh, north from Finch Station up to Richmond Hill in uh, Thornhill. So that will be, so that will be a, a future plan for, for the Young Line North extension. So that means along this stretch it's going to be lots of lots of bloody hell construction and, 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 and that's going to affect lots of diversions for every bus route. Cause, cause, because I remember um, the, the, the Line 1 extension from um, Shepherd West, formerly Downsview, um, to Vaughan Metropolitan Center Station. That was, that was back in the, like, they, like, like, like they started, they started this, uh, this construction in late 2015, and, and it got completed on, on December 17th, 2017. That was the opening day, that, that was the opening day for, um, for the Line 1 subway extension. So they're gonna do the exact same thing with the Young Line North, North, North extension, as I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago. So they're gonna be extending the Young Line from, um, from, from Finn Station, which will, which will used to be um, the last station on Line 1. Or, or I mean, well, well, well for now, it is still, it is the last, it is the last, last station on line one but um but then in, in the next few years it won't be the last station on line one it's going to continue like the like the young the young line uh, north extension is, is, is going to continue uh north underneath young street from finch to uh richmond uh, hill so so they're going to dig in a very uh, a very big uh, tunnel I, I think this tunnel will be i think the new the new Young Line extension tunnel will be a bit, a bit, a bit wider than the uh, than the uh, usual tunnels that, that we see today. So yeah, I hope I hope that explains it, and I hope you guys understand. And any any of, any of you guys watching this, I bet you guys understand what I was saying about the Young Line North extension. There goes a wide bus, unit 2226. There is the warranty bus terminal. I mean, I mean, they still accept Presto. I remember riding the warranty buses a few times and, and, they, and they still accept a Presto. All right, can I cross? Yes, I can. So this station, Finn Station, serves the warranty buses, GO buses, as well as the TTC buses too. 
So now we have two streets. There's Hendon, there's Hendon Avenue beginning west of Young and uh, Bishop Avenue beginning east of Young. But yeah, I can't wait for the Young Line North Extension in the next few years. That will be in the near future. And I think I kind of explained that very well. Or maybe if I'm wrong, maybe you guys can put it in the comment below this video. I mean, feel free to to put to put anything in the comments about the young about the young line north extension. If I was right, wrong. I mean, you guys all. I mean, you guys all get my point here. All right, Finn Station. There's the hot dog stand. All right, so I'm gonna find a better spot to end my video. Oh, I guess here is good. And here is the actual bus bay platforms at Finn Station. Oh my. And of course, the YRT Viva bus terminal at Finn Station. Which is not in the third page zone, so you, so you so you do have to tap your personal card once again once you board the warranty bus, as well as the as well as the go buses and and the Viva RTK buses as well. So yeah, I think we've reached the end of the line. So I'm going to end my video. So I I, I hope you enjoyed the walk along Drury Avenue, starting at Bathurst Street, and we walked east on Drury to Young, and then south on Young for a few blocks down to Finn Station which is where I am right now so I'm going to be hopping hop, I'm, I'm going to be hopping inside Finn Station and I'll be head, and I'll be hopping on the subway and I'll be making my way back home so I'm going to head inside cool off drink some water and and get some lunch so if you enjoyed this one don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already I have an Instagram account at Japan to the state floor and there is a super thanks button printed down below if you wish to support my channel that way. So it has been a fun walk on this very nice day. On a Monday afternoon being Monday, June 24th. The last Monday of June. As a 68 just west. We'll be entering the bus base at Finn Station. Uh, what else? I still have a few more things to say because 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 my goodbyes are, are very long. So um, let's see here. Or actually, let's let's quickly check out the bus bay platforms from where I'm standing. Then I'll and then I'll and then I'll head back to my ending point here. So there it is, Finch Station, and I think this station opened back in the year of. 1978 if I'm mistaken or I, I think it was 19, 19, 1978 I'll have to recheck that to see if I'm right on Google so yeah you don't see that many buses at Finch you only see only a few of them on this side where I'm where I'm where I'm pointing pointing the camera um, and um, yeah so so I, I guess so I guess the bus bay platforms won't be busy until around three o'clock, which will be the actual uh, rush hour. And I see my home route, the 39C uh, uh, Finch East. It's gonna head east to uh, Victoria Park and Gordon Baker, which is not too far from where I live. Look, there's the 428 cover bus. I recorded that route only once last year or a year or two or or a year and a half ago that's what I meant to say all right so I think that's it so so nothing else to be said I hope and I hope everyone has a great day happy Monday afternoon you know stay stay cool 
drink lots of water and then and enjoy this enjoy this nice weather and i will see you guys next time as i head inside Venn station to pull off all right ciao for now